Welcome back, continuing the news. As the economy reels from the coronavirus pandemic, more Jamaicans say it's, they are finding it difficult to make ends meet. But how are domestic helpers coping? TVJ's Anthony Locke has been speaking with one. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And today, I'll be sharing the story of a single mother of eight who is currently struggling during this COVID-19 crisis. This is 33-year-old Crystal Clark, a helper whose feet have become weary. She has not been able to work since the announcement of the first COVID-19 case in Jamaica. Since school lock and crisis now, I can't go to work because I normally do this work with the teachers from the school. So we don't have any money, we don't have any food, we don't have anything here now. The school she's referring to is the Dwayne Park Primary School, which four of her children attend. It was not easy, but she took us through this passage before making it to the place she and her eight children call home. It's a one-bedroom wooden structure on the inside these are the two beds on which they all lay their head. In the kitchen, there were pots, plates, and utensils, but apart from these seasonings, there was no food. What we had before was the supplies of milk and bones that we got from the principal and porridge mix, and um, basically that's it. That's what we were living on until, up until now, which is vanished. Over the last eight weeks, many have flocked grocery stores in a bid to stock up on food items. For her, that's something she hopes to do one day. We asked whether the children have ever gone to bed hungry. Many nights, even when, even when I am working, because if at the end of the month when I pay the rent, I still can't find the food. So many nights, them go to them bed hungry. Um, you know, and even when the bigger ones will hold it, the smaller ones will cry. What does that do for you? Um, brings the tears to my eyes because I just have to hold them and tell them say tomorrow is another day and me will get something for them by tomorrow. Sometimes tomorrow still not come. The struggles are real. So too the pain. She believes she has failed them as a mother. At times I feel like I should just give them up because maybe they would do better off without me. Um, I never want to start about running away leave them though. Because I know that they need me. While at the house, we spoke with the children who showed us their books. As for the schoolwork sent by teachers, it's handwritten by Miss Clark because she's unable to print. As for recreational activities, games are played in the house or they watch this TV. The problem is, half the screen is black. The living condition here is not healthy for them either. We don't have any running water, um, no proper toilet. They are wrapped as big as you and I about the place and sometimes in the house. The burden she bears may be heavy. However, she keeps pushing, but she's desperately in need. Sometimes I dream of a bigger picture, like days are gonna come where the mother get big and the mother are right. So that's what keep me looking forward to them every day. Anthony Log, TVJ News.